There is a girl who needs to watch three kids. All three kids are boys. The parents of the three boys first want to show the girl the house so she knows where everything is. They first show her the closet. They want her to know where the closet is because that is where all the clothes are for the boys. Then they walk down the hallway where they show her the hamper. The hamper is full of clothes. They ask her when the kids are sleeping if she could bring the hamper to the basement and wash the clothes. They then walk down the hallway again and show her the heater. They said that if the heater doesn't work, she can call a friend who can come to the house and fix the heater for her. Then they bring her to the front door, where they said there is a hinge on the door that needs to be fixed. She needs to close the door hard because the hinge doesn't work very well. After the parents show the girl the closet, the hallways, the hamper, the heater, and the hinge, the boys wanted to eat. One of the boys wanted to drink coffee, but the girl told him it is too late to drink coffee. She said he will need to change what he wants to drink because he can't drink coffee. So he changed his drink to milk. All the boys wanted to eat cookies, but the girl told them that they first have to eat something healthy because cookies are for dessert. So she started to make crab. The boys said they don't like crab, but the girl told them they shouldn't consider they should consider uh, trying the crab because it's tasty. The boys considered eating the crab because they wanted to eat something tasty. She also was going to serve them cottage cheese with corn. She says the cottage cheese and corn are very tasty with crab. She says it is necessary to wait 30 minutes to cook the corn, the cottage cheese, and the crab. She says it is very difficult to make. The boy, who is younger than all of his brothers, decides he wants to help the girl because she says that it is difficult to make the crab, corn, and cottage cheese, and he wants to be a good boy. The girl is grateful that the younger boy wants to help. When she and the boy finished cooking, all the boys ate the crab, the cottage cheese, and the corn. Then for dessert, they ate cookies, and the girl drank coffee. She says it is necessary for her to drink coffee because she can't sleep while she is working and coffee helps her to stay awake. After the boys eat the, uh, eat, the girl tells the boys they need to choose what outfit they will wear to sleep in. One boy wants to choose an outfit that is a costume of a doctor, but the girl says he can't choose that outfit. They all choose their pajamas. Some of the pajamas are dirty, and the girl says they need to wash the pajamas if they are dirty. Some of uh, the shirts of the pajamas were dirty, so one boy was just wearing his pants. He prefers to just wear his pants because he says it's easier to move and it's more comfortable. In one of the pockets of the pants, a kid had a cookie. The girl told him he can't put cookies in his pockets because that is not a good idea. She then looks in her purse for a towel to clean the pockets. In her purse, she found a towel. After the kids choose their outfits to sleep in, which were their pajamas, and she cleaned the pants and the pockets with the towel that she found in her purse, the boys were ready to go to the bathroom. One boy needed to put lotion on his body before he sleeps. The girl said she can help him, but she told him he can't move while she puts lotion on him. The boys have to take medicine before they sleep. The medicine is necessary because it helps them sleep. The girl doesn't know where the medicine cabinet is, so she can give the boys their medicine. The boys say that it's behind the mirror. They say you just need to open the mirror and then and there is the medicine cabinet. When she is in the bathroom with the boys, she wants to use the mirror to see herself because she needs to remove her makeup. She doesn't like to remove her makeup, but she has to do it every day. After the girl puts the lotion on the boy and she finds the medicine in the medicine cabinet that is behind the mirror, and after she removes her makeup, the boys are ready to sleep. All the boys go to the room to sleep and the girl goes downstairs to the living room and gets her phone from her purse to play with it and talk to her friends on the phone.